Today I have the great pleasure of showing you a brand new product from Merit, their first skincare product, the Merit Great Skin Serum. Here's what it looks like in the bottle. So I'm going to be sharing all the details on this product. I'll be doing a demonstration of it on myself and sharing my thoughts on this product. So if you'd like to see all of that, just keep on watching. So this is the Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. And this video today is in partnership with Merit. So thank you again so much to Merit for partnering with me on this video and giving me a chance to try out this product and share my thoughts on it. This was released on October 6th, so it's available now on the Merit website. And my link for this product, if you're interested in trying it out, is in the description box below. Starting right at the very beginning, the packaging for this product is beautiful. Both the component box, this is your traditional Merit blue box, and then you open it up, your product is protected by that extra cardboard sleeve and we have this stunning glass bottle. This is a 50 milliliter bottle, so you're getting a great amount. And I was actually shocked. I've been trying this out for several days before it was even released and available for purchase. I was trying it out and I was trying to guess what the price would be for this. And I was really pleasantly surprised to see that this is 49 Canadian dollars. I was expecting it to be somewhere more in kind of the 80 to 100 Canadian dollar range. So I was really pleased to see that price. And I think the presentation is about as luxe as it can get. It's this beautiful, heavy glass bottle. The product looks beautiful in the bottle. I love that you can see it through so you can see how much you're going through and you can also see the biphase product there. So this is one that definitely needs to be shaken up to mix the two phases of the product together there. We have this stunning gold writing and the gold cap as well. This is a pump bottle. So I'm gonna pump it out on the back of my hand just so we can start talking about the product itself. I'm giving it a good shake. I'm gonna start with one pump on the back of my hand. This is a very liquidy product. So I wanna blend it in right away. I have another pump, you can see it there. And you can see the gorgeous glow this is a very liquidy product, as you can see, very, very thin and incredibly lightweight. So it almost feels like nothing, except that it has beautiful moisturizing properties. So you do feel that kind of intense hydration, but I love to have that in that very thin, serum-y, liquidy formula because it doesn't feel heavy at all. It just feels really light and nourishing and very hydrating. You can see that beautiful glow and that glow remains. So this is a skincare product, but it's also can be used as a priming product for makeup. And I've been loving using it that way. You can apply it underneath your moisturizer or over your moisturizer. And my favorite way is to apply it over my moisturizer because I feel like it really locks in the hydration and it gives the most incredible glass skin effect when you do it that way over your moisturizer and I just love that effect so I love it without makeup and it provides a beautiful base for makeup. So with that said I want to now actually show you myself applying it to my face. Merit specifies the number of drops you should use depending on your skin type. So they say for oily skin one pump is good. For combination skin go with two pumps and if you have quite dry skin three pumps is ideal. So I went in initially with two pumps to cover my whole face today. As I said, I had my moisturizer down already, and then I went in with two pumps, and you just need to make sure that you shake it up again, um, pump it into your hands. I like to kind of warm it up, and I think they recommend that you warm it up a little bit between your hands, and then just kind of gently press it into the skin. And this is well named as an instant glow serum because you can see the instant glow that it provides to the skin. I then went in with an additional pump. I do have fairly dry skin. So I went in with one more pump, but I just concentrated it on the areas that I wanted to be extra glowy. So basically my cheeks and kind of the tops of my cheekbones a little bit on my forehead to get that extra glow going in those areas. So this looks beautiful on the skin when you're not wearing any makeup and works beautifully under makeup as well. So I went in with my Merit Minimalist stick all over. I used the shade Silk 
and it just blends so beautifully. It blends beautifully without the serum, but especially on top of this serum, it just really glides. It feels like it's really working into the skin and creating a stunning glass skin finish. And I really like how the minimalist stick combines with it too because of the finish you can get. Because of the finishes of both products, you have this very glowy kind of dewy finish with the serum and then the stick is a more natural finish. So I've mentioned this before on my channel that the stick tends to kind of work with whatever you have underneath it. So it will kind of work to take on a little bit of the finish of whatever you have underneath the makeup. And so because you've got the, the glowiness of the serum, that glowiness comes through with the stick, but it doesn't feel oily. It just is a really nice, fresh, dewy finish. And I actually haven't powdered my face at all today and I feel totally fine. I feel like everything is secure and I still have that really beautiful glow on the skin. I went in with a few more Merit products. I used their bronzing stick. I used the shade Clay today. And then I went in with their blush in Beverly Hills as well. And both applied flawlessly on the skin, blended out really easily, built really beautifully. And I actually went in with a little bit of their terracotta blush as well. I didn't film that part but I added just a tiny little bit of the terracotta blush on top of Beverly Hills to add a little bit more of that kind of earthy color because I felt like that went really well with the lipstick that I chose today, which is 1990 from Merit. I bought this 1990 shade a couple of months ago, um, kind of heading into fall. I knew that I would really be wanting to wear this type of a shade. I've talked many times before on my channel about how much I love the formula of these Merit lipsticks, their signature lightweight lipsticks, and how I love the colors, and the same holds true for the 1990 shade. It looks quite deep in the bullet, but it does have a more sheer and buildable formula, so you can apply just one layer and it's going to look very light and sheer and just add a touch of this color, or you can build it up and get more intensity out of the color. I'm just gonna swatch it on the back of my hand here. So you can see this beautiful cocoa-like shade. It's beautifully balanced. On me, it pulls a little bit more cool toned, but it's quite a, a neutral brown, actually. You can see the warmth and the coolness in there. Now I wanted to get into some of the ingredients in this Great Skin Serum. And this is where, for me, it gets especially interesting because this product actually contains four types of hyaluronic acid. Now, if you've been watching my channel much this year, you may know that I have found that I have quite a sensitivity to hyaluronic acid. And that resulted in me actually several months ago cutting out makeup and skincare products that have hyaluronic acid in them. In the past, products with hyaluronic acid have basically caused breakouts on my skin. I usually am dealing with some sort of breakout in this area of my face, which isn't related to hyaluronic acid because that has continued but I found when I was using some products with hyaluronic acid in the past that I would get breakouts in areas that I don't normally get breakouts. So like on my cheeks, on this area of my face, which is very unusual for me to get breakouts on and so on. So I was a little bit wary when I saw that this has hyaluronic acid in it, but I was so interested and curious to try it. I've been testing this out for about a week. I've used it for the last five days straight and I haven't had a single bit of irritation or breakout from it at all. So I can't really explain it. I think a big part of it must be the other ingredients that are in here. And one of the theories that I've heard for hyaluronic acid sensitivity, which is quite a rare thing, but one of the theories that I've heard for why that might happen is it's not actually the hyaluronic acid in the products that you're reacting to. It's that the hyaluronic acid is allowing you to absorb more of the other ingredients that are in the product that you're using, um, and those are actually the irritants. So to me, that's kind of my working theory right now is that the ingredients in here are very high quality ingredients that are not irritating at all. And that's actually part of the way that this product was formulated was to be non-irritating and to work really well for sensitive skin so that the ingredients in this are at efficacy levels but not at a level that is going to sensitize the skin. So whatever they've done with the formulation of this is kind of a miracle for me because as I've said, 
hyaluronic acid has been a no-no for me, but for whatever reason, the hyaluronic acid in this hasn't caused a single issue for me, which is quite amazing because I've always loved that very hydrating feeling that you get from hyaluronic acid. Um, and so to be able to actually have a product that I can use to get that and to have it in that very, you know, lightweight, almost weightless form in this serum is just fantastic. So some of the other important ingredients, this is 2% niacinamide, which is for brightening. It also has caffeine rich cacao seed extract, which is for plumping the skin. As I mentioned, the four types of hyaluronic acid for deep hydration, and also something called Japanese gold thread root, which is for soothing and antioxidant protection, which I wonder if that is also a big factor in how this works on my skin because it's soothing the skin as you wear it. And the serum is also pH balanced, which is really important for a healthy skin barrier. The serum is, of course, dermatologist tested and it's fragrance free. So they've done a really great job of making sure that this is not going to be irritating to the skin and I can certainly attest to that. The other thing that I really appreciate about this, um, aside from being lightweight and giving that incredible like glowy glass skin look is that it actually absorbs really quickly into the skin as well so you don't even have to wait after applying it really to apply makeup which is great you can just put this on and then go right in with your makeup right on top and you're not going to have any issues with it not absorbing because it does really absorb into the skin very quickly and somehow for being such a dewy kind of glow giving product it doesn't make my skin feel oily as the day goes on. It doesn't add any extra oiliness to my skin. I really think it's just a phenomenal, very well formulated product. The presentation, as I've said, is just glorious. I love having this on my counter and looking at it. I think it's really beautiful, lovely minimalist aesthetic, but still super luxe looking and feeling. So just to remind you, my link for this is in the description box below. So if you're interested in trying that, you can use my link. And also a reminder that every first order from Merit ships with their signature bag, which is a really beautiful, you can use it as a makeup bag or you can even use it as a little clutch. It's a really lovely high quality bag. So that ships free with every first purchase as well. You get free shipping over $40 on Merit and free returns. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again so much to Merit. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. I always love to see those. And if you'd like to see more from me and you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I'd love for you to do so. Thanks again so much. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.